how do you define or rationalize what you contributed to culture? Uh, <clears throat> that's, that's a very good question. I, 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 that's a tough thing to quantify in, yeah, it's in crazy. any, in any, I think it depends on who you ask. I mean, there are people who are like, oh yeah, I've been watching family guy my whole life. And then people who are like, this thing is just, you know, is, is it's, it's, you know, it fueled the rise of Trump. <laughs> it's just, but isn't that everything? I mean, that's, oh, I guess, it's not be I guess, everybody. I guess. How do you see it? How do I see I mean, it's a, Hey man, it's a job. I mean, I, I, it's more than it's, that. it's, it's all I, it's all I ever wanted to do when I was a kid, when I was in college, it was like, it, it was all about, hey, I, I want to make a show and I want to, I want to be an animator. And, uh, I didn't, when I started, I was 24 and uh, there was a lot of luck that contributed to this, that I, I did a student film that was a rough version of family guy that was, was it, in, in many ways similar to the pilot of the show. Uh, and it was exactly what people were buying at that time. So, I mean, if I was pitching it now, I don't know if I would be able to sell it. But at that time, The Simpsons had taken off. King of the Hill had taken off. Everybody wanted animation and exactly this kind of, of adult animation. And so it was – my timing couldn't have been better. Um, but I didn't have anything to compare it to. And I thought, oh, yeah, you, oh, you pitch a show. I guess you just sell it. I guess that's what happens. Um, and never thought it would be, you know, how, however long. So 24 years later and – we're still doing it. Never would have thought that was the case. Do you so wonder I why? I haven't ever stepped. Uh, why? Why? Why it's still on today? You know, I I think it's just as simple as that. It's it's funny, and it doesn't really try to. I mean, yeah, there's there's social allegory and there's there's political commentary, but at the end of the day, that's all secondary to the fact it's a show that. You know that writers' room is just full of really funny people who are out to get laughs. And that's that's what the show is, and it's like it's people say, yeah, man, I listen to I, I watch Family Guy. It helps me fall asleep, or I get stoned and I watch Family Guy, and it's and it's, you know, I you, you could take that as a, oh my God, I'm making kitsch instead of art, but but to me, it's like no, that's that's the show doing doing its job, and and that's kind of what it's here for, and I, and I I don't think it's any more complicated than that. I think it's just it's a show that sets out to be funny. People like to laugh. And it works out for everybody. Is there a joke that surprised you that's, like, really gone off and taken a life of its own? Like, I'm thinking of, like, two off the top of my head. The chicken. The chicken. Kool-Aid man. Yeah. I mean, the, well, yeah, you, you never know what never know what they are. The, the Stewie going, Mom, Mommy, Mama, Mama. <laughs> yeah. that, that is never would have thought that. I mean, the, 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 it's forever. The, uh, the Trash Men song, The Bird is the Word, <laughs> is, is one that, that just uh, – Will not die. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there there are jokes at this point that that fans of the show will bring up, and and it takes me a second. And I, like, man, we've done what three hundred fifty, four hundred of these things. And I, I I gotta think for a second. Like, when was that? What year was that? Because I haven't written on the show since like two thousand nine, two thousand ten, some somewhere around there. Whenever I whenever I started doing TED, I I stepped away. I ran that show for about you know eleven years, and then I and then I said, all right. It's all you guys. How hard was that? It was. It was. It was tough, um, but it was easier than if I had kept one hand in it. I, I'm the kind of person that I can either give a thousand percent to something or none at all. I cannot mm. do. In I, I'm a terrible like, you know, production executive in that regard. I can't, you know, jump from one to the other and give just a little bit of myself to to every. To what I tend to do is like, okay, I'm going to work on this project for the next six months, and this, this, and this, which I'm also producing, are going to be shepherded solely by the showrunner. So it's it's it works out, I think, well for everyone because I don't I don't um, I'm you know I'm really obsessive with what I'm working on, but I don't micromanage other showrunners that I work with. It's like the buck stops with you. It's been ten years since I've said to Family Guy, I, I don't think we should do this, or I, or I I don't you know don't do this. Let's do something else. Like I I I've never. Since then, if I'm not running a show, I don't uh, impose any edicts on the people who are. It's like it's it's your show now. The buck stops with you, and it's your call. I can I can give you my thoughts and my advice, but I'm not going to tell you what to do and what not to do. By the way, really special, and not many people would do that or have the ego to do that, right? Because there is a certain level or of ego and trust. 
Okay. <laughs> so are you just going in and reading? And that way I can absolve my, if they do something really bad and they, you know, the joke that's way over the line, I can just absolve myself. Well, I don't work there. <laughs> are you, are you going in and just reading the script for all the characters they give you? Uh, yeah. So it's that simple. You, they just hand it to you and you're like, all right, let's do it. Oh, in my pajamas, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you remember the moment it was time to leave? That it was time to, oh, like, like, was it like a. Like step away? Like what not, changed? Not, not in any kind of crystallized sense. I, I don't, I don't remember like, well, it's my last day. I, I, re- it's, I should remember that. And I Did don't. Did you have a brown cardboard box <laughs> with all your stuff in it? <laughs> like I'm being escorted out. <laughs> yeah. But even yeah. like having the, like the, the thought of like, it's time for me to go. Yeah. Like you knew your time was done here. Yeah. I, I, I think it was, uh, I, I, I have sort of a vague memory of, of what my, my, thinking was but it's the same as it would be today it's like i i if i'm halfway in it i'm gonna go crazy i'm gonna feel like ah shit you know we gotta fix that you know what i'm just gonna come in and and we'll we'll do it together and it just i I just my brain won't do that i either got to be completely out or completely in and when i was completely out it was there was something freeing about it um i did i did have some concern for the future of the show uh but it's somehow sustained it's like the 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 people uh who've been working there are a lot of the same people that were there when i was running the show and they've done a great job in my absence so uh you know i i got lucky with with a good team it really could be on forever could be i mean i'll die at some point (laughs) you know we'll all die you gotta that's another one that's gonna blow your mind someday we're all gonna die Oh, How about this one? Who's going to go to whose funeral first? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I, th- I think about that one a lot. I think, Liz, you'll 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 just kind of have a string of all of our funerals that you'll have to attend. Exactly. 